Hello, and thank you for tuning into another Automate How To video. I am Keegan Carter, and I'm an MSP consultant here at ProValve Tech. Today, I'll be demystifying information based categories and ticket categories, how the two relate, and explaining why you probably should be using more granular ones versus the stock. Out of the gates, Automate offers us a decent number of categories, and it's up to us to map these to service boards and define kind of what they mean for our company. The issue is, once you pick one particular board or priority for an item, it might not be granular enough for you. So, a server stuck at 100% CPU might be a P1, but a server seeing sort of high RAM usage might be more of a P3 or an informational. Same kind of goes for many of these. That's why here at Proval Tech, we devised out a way to take our information categories and expand on them and make them a little bit more granular. So what we've done is came up with a naming scheme where every single category is defined by the service board that that ticket is going to route to, as well as the service type. Now you can go one step even more granular if you want and add subtypes onto them. That's perfectly all right. Um, we have a number of clients that do that and it works really well for them. Here in my test environment, though, we're going to stick to service board and service type. What this does is it gives you a really clean way to define exactly where a ticket is going to go. And how that works is on your service plans, you'll pick which ticket category a particular monitor is going to alert into. And this is per service plan, which means if you have a white glove treatment service plan or a time and material service plan, you can treat them fundamentally different by maybe which priorities come in. So clients that pay more for a higher level of service will get a higher priority ticket for the same issue. This has a benefit on the backside. So when you send things over into manage, and they're defined and have a priority mapped out that is nice and granular and accurately reflects the priority of the ticket. Not only are your techs going to be able to discern which tickets need to be worked first because their priorities reflect that, but the SLAs that get assigned to those tickets are going to be accurate and reflect which tickets need to be worked first. So let's say that this managed 8x5 group here is for my time and materials guys. They are my clients that don't need quite so high a priority on things, or maybe their Acronis backup minor issues are going to be going into a less immediate board. So maybe my help desk are the guys that crush tickets, and maybe we want to send this over to just plain old alerts board. So maybe we'll send it into alerts as a priority three. Now, looking in here, there's no question where this ticket goes and what it gets mapped to and how it should be handled. This is the beauty of defining out all of these ticket categories. It takes a little bit of time and you might have to go into manage and rework some of your service types and service subtypes. But in the end, you'll be left with a really clean, easy to map uh, automate environment, and you'll be able to easily pick the exact priority and board that you want tickets to get mapped to. We here at Proval have a script that'll go through and any service board that you have, so if it's an antivirus board or a back office board or your help desk, we can pre-generate 
all of these ticket categories, map them to the correct boards, map them to the correct type, service type, subtypes if you need it, and save quite a bit of clicks. If you're doing this manually, it is a little bit time consuming, but still worth it. Once you have all of these tickets mapped out, you have them coming in under the correct service types, subtypes, etc. You are in a position where every ticket now has clean, accurate metrics assigned to it, and you can start pulling items for reporting, like which type of tickets are taking the most time, or maybe which clients are sending in the most of a certain type of ticket. It's a really clean way to find out if maybe certain applications cause a lot of tickets, you'd be able to build your own type for that. Or if there are maybe SLAs that aren't getting met. The easiest way to find that all out is to get your ticket categories in order, get your types and priorities mapped accurately, and then head into your service plans and map things out exactly how they should be. So any particular monitors that come in, you're going to go and you're going to set up a ticket category that makes sense for that monitor. And that'll get that routed to the correct board, correct type, and subtypes. This has been an Automate How-To video by ProValTech. I hope this has helped out. And I thank you for watching. Have a good day.